I'm here at the kitchen table of EAA Administrator James Ryan Henry. Jim, how are you? And in many ways, better than I deserve. Good to be back in, in power. Jim, uh, ring of news is uh, because many some conservatives are not pleased with Dole have said that the election was won this week that you would trounce Clinton. Well, I don't know about that, not by much. And I had made, uh, even though Clinton had goaded me back in December to run, after consultation with my wife, I had decided not to. Let's not forget that even though I'm a public servant, my first duty is to my God and to my family. And that means, unfortunately, you'll be resigning in a month and a half. I don't see I got much choice, Blake. The mainstream media attacking me. Clinton, up to now, just avoiding the obvious legislation that's needed to actually get down to the nitty-gritty brass tax of the economy. And there's rumors that there's going to be a Senate vote pretty soon on uh, the Small Business Jobs Protection Act. Are you optimistic? I am. It's 76% American population that favor it, and 75% that favor welfare reform. But yet, the Democrats and some liberal Republicans are trying to play hardball. And yet, I don't know if you've seen the, the uh, Sunday morning uh, specials on Radio News. Congressman Chris Ormsby went on there saying it, did, it, it didn't matter. He was going to ram a le legislation and come up with a amicable uh, bipartisan solution to the budget. That's important, and, and that's what I hope it. But I'm just, just, I'm just saying the way it's going, I don't think I'm going to be there that long. Given that, that the liberal tabloid press is attacking you and your family, and, and that one of the Clinton uh, uh, Ivory Tower types is even questioning the fitness based on your family. Once again, what people don't know is political, the political parameters are changing. Yeah, we got Dole, but he's a weak nominee. And there's no saying that Ross Perot won't run again. He'll get some popularity, no doubt. I, ha I haven't decided who I'm going to support. Most likely not Dole, because he's a weak nominee. And definitely not Clinton, because he's been slow as molasses to do much to fix the economy. Despite the fact that the second quarter showed some remarkable improvements, it showed some remarkable improvements. Don't get me wrong, but not enough. It precipitated enough problems that caused this current battle of the budget. And that's why I say what needs to be said. But yet I think Clinton is focusing too much on international policy and social policy uh, that would fit the globalists and a few conservatives on the, to that bet. But not people like me and you. Not the average Americans. All right, fine. He wants to go on this anti-underage smoking campaign. That's fine. But my question is, does he care about the bread and butter issues of the American people? That remains to be seen. But like me, you won't support though. He's a weak nominee. Even with uh, Jack Kemp. Let's look at this thing. Most of the presidential people out there have had either Ivy League 
or private school education. And to be honest with you, I think we need some people who have had a normal public school education, but with parents that teach values. I agree with that, Jim. Uh, the, the system in D.C. is corrupt. We'll be back with more interviews. This is the Blake Carter Show.